Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello and welcome back. I don't want to say welcome back. I probably weren't here to begin with. Anyway, um, so this video, we are plotting numbers on a number line and we're learning how to plot intervals on a number line. So, first step, plotting numbers on a number line. So, first I have to recall our three number groups. So we have our natural numbers here. So a natural number is any positive whole number. And that's denoted with a N. So natural numbers, think of like nature, you know? Like, um, you'll find these numbers in nature, like one, two, three, four. Like a tree won't grow half an apple. A tree won't grow a negative four apples, you know what I mean? Or think of it um, as candles on a birthday cake. You'll never have zero candles on a birthday cake. That'd be a bit weird. I don't think babies can digest cake. Anyway, but then, um, so it's just whole positive numbers greater than zero. That's all you need to know. And then how we plot them is, we graph them on a number line like this, just dots. That's it, just dots going up. So zero, oh, not zero, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, and obviously we're not gonna go on forever. So that's what this little arrow's for. This arrow says, hey, we're going on forever this way. So, if x is a natural number, we write it as x is a element of n. So, element of. That's what this symbol means. It means element of, or it's in the set of natural numbers. Okay, next we have our integers. Um, an integer is a whole number, positive or negative or zero. So it's positive and negative whole numbers including zero. Um, integer comes from the Latin word whole. So that's where we get words like integrate and um, integral. There's other words. I can't think of it. But anyway, there's words. Um, the set is denoted by a letter Z. Don't ask me why. Uh, I For my brief Google search, I think it comes from the German word Zahlen. Uh, which means to count, I think, I don't know, but there you go. Anyway, so the integers are just whole, positive, and negative numbers, including zero, so minus five, four, three, two, one, blah, blah, blah. And we plot them the same as we would um, natural numbers. So I have my number line here, so um, I have my arrow here on the left to indicate I'm going on forever. Now this is the whole set of natural numbers, by the way. So I'm going on to minus infinity and I'm going on to plus infinity. So that's why I have these two um, arrows there. And if x is an integer, we write it as x is an element of z. So if you see the this like x, e, z, x is an element of z. Right, real numbers. I, this is the final number group you need. For this chapter anyway. So a real number. A real number is literally any number. It's any number that can be plotted on a number line. So for example. Um, a half. A quarter. Pi. Square root of two. You know. 3.5675. You know. It's like literally any number you can think of. We can plot it on this line. So if you kind of think of it like that. We're kind of having like infinite many dots. You know, along this line. That's why we develop this big, thick red line here. Right? So how we plot the real numbers is, we plot it with this big, thick red line. So, again, um, I'm plotting the whole set here. So this goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. So it's a big, thick red line. Again, arrows here to indicate it's going on forever. So there's our three number groups there. So... How can we plot them, right? So this is how we plot an inequality, yeah? So just remember your inequality signs. So this one means less than. So the one that looks like an L, less than. And this one equals greater than. And then finally, if it has a little line underneath it, that's less than or equal to, right? And then this one would be greater than or equal to. All 
Right, hopefully you remember that from primary school anyway. Right, so, how do we plot these numbers on a number line? First, we always have to check what um, set my x is a part of. So I have here, x is greater than minus three. So x is a number greater than minus three. Perfect. X is an element of integers. So I'm gonna draw my little line here. Right, so here's minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two. I'm not gonna keep going on because it's a bit of a hack. Right, so x is greater than minus three. So it's greater than minus three. I'm not including minus three. It's not greater than or equal to. It's just greater than minus three. So I'm including minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. And then my little arrow here to indicate I'm going on forever to plus infinity. And that's it. That's all the numbers greater than minus three when x is a integer. Now I have the same question here, the exact same interval here now, but x is greater than minus three, but look here, x is an element of natural numbers. So you have to remember now what my definition of a natural number is. Natural numbers are numbers, are whole positive numbers greater than zero. Right, so if I plot this out here, so I have my minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, then a little arrow here. Okay, so greater than minus three. So I'm not including minus three, fab. So am I including minus two? No, I'm not, because minus two isn't a natural number. So x is a natural number, remember. So I'm not including minus two. I'm not including minus one, because that's not a natural number. I'm not including zero, because that's not a natural number. So I'm including one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 all the way plus infinity. That's my solution set drawn out. So notice the difference. It's two very different answers if, I, if my x is in a different set. Then finally, I have here x is greater than minus 3, where x is an element of real numbers. Now, it's important when dealing with real numbers. Right, oh, sorry, let's put that in here. So x is greater than minus 3, x is an element of real numbers. So I'm going to have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. So x is greater than minus 3. So that means I'm including minus 2.999. You know, that means I'm including minus 2.5. I'm including minus two and a quarter. I'm including one and a half. You know, I'm including all the stuff in between these gaps, right? So that's why I have a big red line here. That means, hey, I'm including all of this stuff here. Now, but the problem is, it's greater than minus three. I'm not including minus three. So, if it's greater than, if this only applies to real numbers, if it's greater than uh, minus three, if or I'm doing a greater than or less than symbol, if I'm not, if it's not an equal to one, so if it's not a greater than or less than or equal to, I just draw an open circle. And the open circle just means it's just greater than minus three, I'm not including minus three though, right? So that's how I plot it for real numbers. So three, same questions, three very different answers, right? Okay, this one now is kind of the same as the last one, but in this case we're dealing with the great with the less than or equal to sign. So let me just draw this out now. So one, two, bit wonky, get over it, right? Three. So zero, one, two, three, four, minus one, minus two, minus three etc etc right so part a so graph each of the following inequalities on the number line given so x is less than or equal to 2 where x is an element of natural numbers right so remember i'm not including numbers that are not natural right so less than or equal to 2 okay so i'm inc i'm including 2 i'm including 2 fab i'm including 1 cool that's less than 2 am i including 0 I'm not including zero, am I? Because zero is not a natural number. So therefore, that's literally my solution set. It's just two, one, that's it. 
Um, I don't need this um, arrow here. That just did it. Oopsies. Yeah, that just did it on the app. So I don't need that arrow here. So the one, two, bada boom, bada bing, done. Because it's a natural number. Next one, x is less than two. X is an element of integers. Remember the z is integers. So zero, one, two, three, minus one, minus two. So x is less than or equal to two. So I'm including two. Fab. I'm including one. I'm including zero. I'm including minus one. I'm including minus two. I'm including minus three. And I'm including all these values. So that's why I have the arrow here. Right? Because it's an integer, so it's whole positive and negative numbers, including zero. So that's my whole solution set there. And then finally, um, x is less than 2, where x is an element of real numbers. We'll have 2, 1, 0, one, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So, x is less than or equal to 2. So I'm including 2 in this. So if I'm dealing with real numbers, and I'm including... Um, the term, so I have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, I just draw in a filled in circle on top. Okay? So remember, open circle if it's just less than or greater than, filled in circle if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Right, so I'm including 2, I'm including 1, I'm including 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Oh, sorry. So I'm, so I'm including all these numbers. So real numbers, I'm dealing with a big thick line here because remember, I'm including every small number in between these intervals here. Right, that goes on, arrow, that's my solution set drawn out for x is less than 2, where x is an element of real numbers. Right. So, that's how we plot them. Sometimes we have to write an inequality for an interval. So sometimes we're given an interval like this here. So, I want to mathematically write out the range of values I have here. So I have here, my range of values... Well, x is going to be greater than minus 2. Greater than or equal to minus 2. I didn't have a line here. So x is an element of um, real numbers. So I know x is going to be greater than or equal to minus 2. But also x is going to be less than 2. Because I have the open circle here. So it's just going to be less than 2. So you can leave your answer like this. Or more formally, we write it as one line. So, x greater than or equal to minus 2, that can be written as minus 2 is less than or equal to x, right? That can be written like that. So, now I can write this as one line. So, I can do minus 2 is less than or equal to x, or if you read it from right to left, x is greater than or equal to minus 2. And then, x is less than 2. So that's how I can write that interval as one line. So if you read this from left to right, so if you read this from the center here, so x is greater than or equal to minus 2, x is less than 2. That's literally what the answer is there. I'll do um, two more examples of this now. So I'm going from minus 10 to 20. I'm including minus 10 and 20. So x is going to be greater than minus 10, or greater than or equal to minus 10, x is going to be less than or equal to 20. Again, these can be written like this. So x greater than or equal to minus 10 can be written as minus 10 is less than or equal to x. And then x is less than or equal to 20. Again, I can just then shove that at the end here. And that's my full answer. So minus 10 is less than or equal to x. x is less than or equal to 20. So they take some practice there but it's always important that you know the correct notations for these questions right so the next part of this video of this very long video it's already been 15 minutes Ugh. right so solving linear equalities yeah so to solve a linear equality so first of all expand and multiply out any brackets and collect like terms yeah Step two, rearrange the inequality so that terms contain the unknown variable are on one side of the inequality sign. So it's very much the same as solving an equation, but I just have an inequality sign. So now letters to the left, numbers to the right. Um, so the step three here is the same. 
divide both sides by the coefficients of the unknown variable when I have it on its own. Again, this is a waffle. I stole this from a book. We'll just do an example. Um, but it's very important in this section. Right? We must remember to reverse the direction of the inequality if I divide across by a negative number. So if I'm dividing across by a negative number, I must remember to reverse the direction of the inequality sign. So hopefully one of these questions will show me what show you what I mean. So look at this one here. So I have 3x minus 5 is greater than 7. So I'm treating this like I'm solving an equation. Yeah. So I need to get x on its own. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Or you just bring the minus 5 over, change the sign. So I have 3x is greater than 12. Divide both sides by 3. So I have x is greater than 4. That's my answer there. But then um, I need to plot my solution. So x is greater than 4. It tells me here x is a natural number. So let's draw my line here. Boom. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I'm not including 4, because it's just greater than 4. So I'm including 5, I'm including 6, I'm including 7, I'm including 8. And it goes on forever to have my arrow. And that's my solution set plotted out. Another example here. 5 minus 4x is greater than 9. Oh, sorry. My, 5 minus 4x is less than 9. x is an element of real numbers. Right? So I have real numbers. So I'm going to be using a big thick line here. Again, I'm you. I'm solving this like I would an equation. So I'm getting the x's on its own. So letters to the left, numbers to the right. So I have. I'm gonna bring this five over. I'm gonna put my minus five. So I have f minus four x is less than nine minus five. Remember, we are only switching the sign if I'm dividing by a negative number, right? So I have minus four x is less than. 9 minus 5, well, which is 4. So I need to divide both sides by the coefficient of x. So I'm dividing both sides by 4. Minus 4. I'm dividing by a negative number now. So I have to swap my inequality sign. So I have x is greater than minus 1. And that's my answer there. So x is greater than minus 1. I'm going to plot this out on the number line here. So there's minus 1, there's 0, 1, 2, 3, there's an arrow, big thick line. So greater than minus 1, remember I'm dealing with real numbers, so it's greater than, it's not including it, so it's just an open circle down on the 1, and then big thick line here, boom, 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 goes on forever, make sure to have your arrow, and bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, there you go, and that's my solution set drawn out. Right, hope this helped. Um, if it did help, smash that like button. No, I'm not doing that. Anyway, okay. Uh, I'll see you later, alligators. Peace.